In May 1886, Margaret Danley Stetter gave birth to a child in a shelter dug into a hill in western Nebraska. She came from a long line of homesteaders, who tried to tame the prairie into farmland, some with more success than others. Her husband, John, was away earning his living as a cowboy and it took several telegrams to finally persuade him to come home to meet his first-born daughter, Lita. His reaction was less than paternal. Upon seeing her, he reportedly said, I'd give a thousand dollars if it was a boy. The sentiment was not uncommon at the time. Women were widely regarded as physically and mentally inferior to men. But that little girl, Lita Stetter Hollingworth, would grow up to be a trailblazing psychologist who spent her life trying to prove equality between the sexes. One of the first women to scientifically debunk men's alleged superiority, Hollingworth's research lent credibility to the burgeoning feminist movement in the early 20th century. Hollingworth's early experiments during her graduate work at Columbia University surely would have made her frontiersman father blush. For centuries, men had been mystified by menstrual cycles, claiming women weren't fit for higher education or the workforce because they were too unstable for a week out of every month. Even more pernicious, doctors had identified a physical condition, later deemed a mental illness, for women who became overly emotional, hysteria, whose root originates from the Greek word for uterus. And the diagnosis was serious, often leading to dubious treatments and, at worst, being institutionalized. To disprove female fragility, Hollingworth conducted an extensive series of daily tests on six women and two men over several months, ranging from how fast they could tap a brass plate 400 times in a row to their skills with a typewriter. The result? Women performed equally well across all tasks, even during their periods. As Hollingworth wrote in her 1914 dissertation, which directly contradicted the views of her male thesis advisor, men to whom it would never have occurred to write authoritatively on any other subject regarding which they possessed no reliable or expert knowledge, had not hesitated to make unproven claims about the intellectual and physical abilities of women during their monthly cycles. Hollingworth had hoped other female scientists would continue to experiment, so they could rewrite the psychology of woman based on truth, not on opinion, on precise, not on anecdotal evidence, on accurate data rather than on remnants of magic. But a century later, not much has changed. The kind of questions Hollingworth was asking and the answers she found are still being debated. Through her work, she was also involved in the fight for women's suffrage, which resulted in the ratification of the 19th Amendment guaranteeing women the right to vote in August 1920. At least on paper. Many women, especially black women, continue to be disenfranchised. 